Hey guys, welcome back to my infinite painter tutorial, today we'll draw this mango illustration, hope you like it. First enable the circle tool and using the solid fill brush, draw two circles, then disable the tool and connect those circles to each other using two curve lines and fill the gaps. Now, to slice it up, use the lasso tool, make it a curve selection. Then tap on the transform option. Use the lasso tool again to make more slices. This time we will invert the selection. Deselect the first slice as well. Then use the transform option again to separate it. Repeat this process to make further more slices. Right now, we're just making the slices, after it's done we'll adjust the position of the slices. To adjust, use the lasso tool as well and place the slices according to your likings. After you're done, create a layer below. And draw the inner part of the mango, for this I'm using the monoline brush. Create a layer on the top and one in the bottom, then enable the grid tool. Now draw the mango drip on them. Disable the tool and flatten the top part. Create a layer below the mango layer and draw the top part of the mango drip we drew. Create a layer at the bottom and fill it using the bucket tool. Create a layer on the top, we'll draw the hand on it. Drawing hands can be hard for some peoples, we're not focusing on realistic so, you don't have to worry. Now use the eraser and erase three curve lines in the same distance. Erase the hard edge on the top. Now, we'll fix the index finger, make it broader in the bottom and thinner on the top. Make the tips curve. Make the thumb thinner as well. As you can see I'm just using two curve lines opposite to each other. Now, use the lasso tool again to adjust it. Our drawing part is now complete, now, to add shade and details, create a clip layer, and add pinkish shade to the fingertips and to thumb. Create one more clip layer and draw a line here.
use the eraser for the nail. Erase the line partially using the coarse charcoal brush. Create a clip layer again and add more color shades to the fingers. You can merge all the clip layers if you want. Create a clip layer for the mango layer as well and add shades on it. Make it darker around the edges. Now, add some reflected lights. Create a clip layer for the inner part as well and apply shades. Create a clip layer for the drip too, use the gradient tool, and select the given color. Duplicate this clip layer and drag it on top of the other one. Add a reflection on the tip. and some shadows and reflections as well. Create a clip layer for the background layer. I'm merging all the clip layers because we don't need them anymore. Change the clip layer to screen and add highlights around the subject. Create one more clip layer for the darker shade. Create a clip layer for the hand and add some light texture. Create a layer below the hand and draw the mango leaf on it. Create a clip layer for it and add shadows and details. Now, merge the clip layer and use the lasso tool, select the leaf and tap on transform. Change it to warp, give it a shape like this, or you can just draw it like that. Create a clip layer for the mango, and add the leaf shadow on it. That's it, it's done, thanks for watching, if it helped then like the video, and subscribe for more videos like this, you can also follow me on Instagram, links in the description.